All right, hot off the presses, ladies and gentlemen, Indianapolis Colts head coach Frank Reich has officially been fired by the team, according to Adam Schefter. Big, kind of shocking news, honestly. I thought he would survive the season, but man, it's been a real tumultuous season. After trading for Matt Ryan in the offseason, expecting a big, big year from the Colts, they've never really gotten their footing under them. And Sam Ellinger being the starting quarterback the past two weeks after the benching of Matt Ryan have been an absolute disaster. So he is out in Indianapolis after a 40-33-1 record as a head coach, which is pretty good. But honestly, if you're a Colts fan, anybody who knows anything, it's been real disappointing, and it's not necessarily all his fault. He has never caught in any breaks. He took over the job in 2018 after Josh McDaniels left the Colts high and dry. He was kind of the second, you know, option there. Nobody really wanted him. He was coming fresh off a Super Bowl win in Philadelphia. But man, he had a good start. He opened up 10 and 6, made the playoffs, won a playoff game. Things were looking really, really bright. But then the surprise retirement of Andrew Luck right before the start of the season in 2019, just set this team on a tailspin. They have had a new quarterback every year. Let's just even look at this list. So after Andrew Luck in 2018, his first season, they made the playoffs, won a playoff game. It was Jacoby Brissett, Phillip Rivers, then Carson Wentz last year, and then Matt Ryan and Sam Ellinger this year. It's been a total train wreck. They've never been able to get the quarterback right. They've been really good, too good to get a good quarterback and not good enough to get into where they need to be. Only two playoff appearances from this team. And the second one was with Phillip Rivers, and they lost eventually, They lost in the first round to the Buffalo Bills in a good game. But after 9-8 and eight last year and losing in the last week of the season with Carson Wentz at the lowly Jacksonville Jaguars to not make the playoffs, it was just bad from the get-go. He was on thin ice. I thought Jim Ursay was going to keep him for the full season and maybe ponder they were going to be able to finally, finally draft that young quarterback but I guess things move fast in the NFL, so he's out. This is a very interesting job. I do think they have a good GM in Chris Ballard. They seem to acquire good draft picks. They seem to build a good team around him. They just need to get the quarterback right. They have a decent offensive line. They've been a little banged up and not as good this year, but they have a very good running back also. The defense is getting better. They are getting a little long in the tooth, and it's just kind of sad. It feels like the Colts were this team that had a Super Bowl window, and they never capitalized on it. They completely missed on it. Uh, Andrew Luck being injured and retiring just really never helped things out. Never able to get that right quarterback. I bet you they would have killed to get Russell Wilson or maybe even Aaron Rodgers just for this season. I know what you want to say about Russell Wilson, but he is a lot better than what Matt Ryan was. Matt Ryan was horrible getting bent, but now the new coach, new regime, I think they stick with the GM. Like I said, you get a new young head coach, you draft a quarterback, and you see what you can do. The division is not that scary yet. Texans have a lot of picks. They're also going to be picking at the top of the draft. The Jaguars seem to have something going there in Jacksonville. I like the positive steps they're taking. Trevor Lawrence has been really solid, kind of quietly. People aren't really talking about them because they're the Jags. And then Tennessee is still really good. They just don't have a quarterback. And Malik Will is playing the last two games. Shows he is nowhere close to being an NFL passer. So the window is open for the Colts to possibly turn this thing around relatively quickly. But kind of a surprise move. I like Frank Reich. He'll probably have a new job in the offseason. He'll be one of the hottest names to get hired. Look at L.A. If the Chargers kind of fall off, I'm not a fan of Brandon Staley. And my man will actually have a quarterback to work with. So look for a team with a young quarterback that needs an offensive head coach that they can bring in, possibly do some stuff work. Hey, I wouldn't be so surprised here if he doesn't get a head coaching job and he moves over to maybe Chicago. You know, people are starting to like what the Bears offense is doing. Maybe their OC gets a head job somewhere and Frank Wright comes in and takes over the offense with a young quarterback in Justin Fields who's been very, very positive the last three weeks. He's been running like crazy, throwing the ball. So really interesting to see, but still kind of a shocking move. Jim Irsay is a little sporadic and kind of, you know, tweets too much sometimes and makes rash decisions quickly. I mean, they wanted to keep Carson Wentz, according to all reports, and Irsay wanted him out. Uh, we see how that went in Washington. It hasn't been that good for Wentz, and he's hurt now. So it just never came together for Indianapolis and Frank Reich. I feel bad for it when things like this happen. But still a good head coach, I think. He should get a new job here in this offseason. So two head coaching vacancies already. We're only in the week nine, Panthers and Colts. I'm expecting at least five to six more. We're going to see 
seven, eight, maybe nine available jobs. A lot of interesting stuff in the NFL offseason. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Was this needed? Is Frank Reich a good head coach? Is he going to be able to get a new job? And what do the Colts do? Are you going to go get a new offensive guy? Or are you maybe going to go get a defensive guy as your head coach? Seems to be trending towards offensive guys. There have been a couple of defensive hires. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And we'll uh, see you all tomorrow.